All right, YouTube, this week's video, I went to uh, my local Rockler and grabbed a piece of figured maple. Um, we are going to get this going here in just a minute. I, I decided to do this. Um, I've got some pine that my uh, father-in-law gave me, but I feel like I need to actually use traditional tools on that. So that's going to hold off, and plus it's still super wet. Um, that's going to hold off until I can get a hold of a uh, sharpening system for my traditional tools. And that is what we will use for um, getting those down. So right here we got some figured maple. Um, it's, a, it's a double A uh, figured maple. So it's like right in the middle. Uh, from what I understand, Rockler rates their grain on their cut from uh, single A, double A to triple A being the best. So this is like right in the middle. It's a little two by eight piece. So I've got it mounted on a wormwood screw. Um, got my tail sock up for support. I am gonna grab my face shield. We're gonna get to turning. I'm not quite sure what kind of figure I'm going for yet, as far as what kind of shape. Um, but we will uh, we'll get to turning and kind of let the bowl decide for us. So hang tight, hang in there, stick around with me, and uh, let's see what we can get out of this thing. Welcome back to Crosscut Turning. Make sure you stick around to support the channel. Enjoy the upcoming project. All right, guys, so we're starting out here with the square carbide cutter. We're going to get this outside profile knocked out real quick. First thing you're going to see me doing is just kind of evening out the outside. Kind of see it's not 100% balanced here. Once we get the outside kind of evened out to where it's a little bit more balanced, we're going to go ahead and start trying to put the profile on it. So here I'm starting to work on the outside profile. Initially I was going to go with a, a pretty severe angle on this thing. It was my plan. I was going to go for with a pretty severe V shape. I ended up not making it as, um, as sharp, kind of a, a wider V shape here. I have to really take my time here. This, uh, this lathe keeps stalling out on me uh, if I'm putting a lot of pressure on these cuts. So taking our time and see me kind of doing a little bit a little bit here and there go in diving forward and then I let off of it and go left to right to kind of finish out even it out Then we got pretty much the basic profile. Going to kind of round out the bottom here and just make a few final cuts on the side. Just trying to get as smooth as possible on the outside. As smooth as possible on the bottom. We went ahead and removed the tail sock out of the way. We're going to get rid of this, this bump on the bottom here with the circle carbide cutter. 
uh, just prepping it to mark the mortise on it making sure it's nice and concave to where it'll sit on the outside rim just bringing my tail stock up here because it gives me a, a rough guesstimate of where to mark the mortise up back to the square carbide cutter dig into this bottom of this bowl now I've done I don't know how many bowls with mortises on the bottom of them, and I'm still constantly questioning how deep to go with this thing you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to take out the inside of the bowl you don't want to take some depth away but it always it always seems like it should go deeper than than what it needs to I'm going to use the diamond tool here to put the dovetail into it. You want to get that, that slight angle so the jaws really grip it good. All right, I'm going to just use a little bit of sandpaper just kind of clean up the rough edges so I can see exactly what that angle looks like. You'll see me switch back to the diamond tool here because it just wasn't quite to where I wanted it to go. So I got a nice shot of my hand there. But what I'm doing is just making that angle a little bit more so it'll match the, the angle to my jaws. We're pretty much done with the cutting, or so I thought. I'm going to start sanding here. We started with 80 grit. We're going to go all the way through 400. Sorry about this bad angle here. I, uh, it was really good for the mortise, but should have moved it sooner than I did for the, for the rest of the sanding here. There we go. Kind of going over it and doing some power sanding without the lathe running, just turning it by hand. I'm just, I'm not liking how this is coming out. So what you're going to see me do is you're going to see me pull my tool rest back up and I'm going to go over it. Very, very light shavings here. Slow it down here. See, very, very light shavings. Just trying to get it smooth as possible. And then we're going to start back with the sanding. I thought this looked kind of cool in slow-mo to see these shavings kind of flying everywhere. All right, so I've got it flipped around here, starting the hollowing process. I don't know what happened to the footage of the, the finishing for the outside, but that's going to be the same as, as the inside, and that is definitely in here. So just using the circle carbide cutter, go ahead and hollow out the, uh, hollow out the inside of the bowl. I almost said hollow out the outside of the bowl, but caught myself.
bowl with the style and everything really turned out just to be a simple bowl. But I tell you, you can't ever get enough practice and practicing your craft and that this lathe and turning and everything is not excluded from that. Um, this this bowl fought me. It was a struggle all the way through, and and I'll explain more at the end of the video. But it was just a. Uh, Just need more, more practice and practice. Hey guys, if I could get you to take a minute and just head down and hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. It's a free way to help out the channel. It helps the channel grow. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. here we're just just seeing how smooth it is i wanted to leave this kind of like a, a thicker bowl i like the thick rim on it i wanted to try to leave it as a, a thicker bowl so making light passes just trying to clean up the inside as best i can and the the bottom of it came out came out pretty smooth it was just the uh the corner on the inside corner that came out a little rough so we're gonna start the sanding process on the inside same as the outside we start with 80 uh same with it moving, same with it not the lathe not running. And then we're gonna go all the way through 400. Show you a little bit of the 80 here and then I'll also show you a little bit of the 400. This bowl did not wanna sand up for me very well. Uh, the cuts were, were a lot of tear out in the cuts and a lot of, I just couldn't get it sanded out. Not all of it. You'll see me sanding the outside. I ended up having to re re sand the outside completely. Um, well, not the bottom of it, but the outside edge. I, I re sanded completely back through eighty three four hundred. All right, so we're going to start the finishing process here. I started out after the cuts uh, or after the sanding with some denatured alcohol just to clean off all the excess dust and everything that couldn't get blown off after that we're going to grab the axe abrasive paste abrasive sanding paste put a good coat of that on the inside and the outside edge and then we're going to fire up the lathe and just work it on in As you're, or as I'm working it in, you'll see me uh, just flip into a clean spot on the paper towel, and I just keep going until I don't see any more coming off on the paper towel. That's how I know it's completely, completely worked in the way it should be. And after that, I will get some more denatured alcohol, and I will go back over it and rewipe it down just to make sure if there is any excess of the sanding paste on there, we get that all cleaned off. After that, it's shine time. We use the Axe Polish and Restoring Paste. Put a coat on there. It doesn't take a whole lot. Put a coat on the outside edge in the center. Just make sure it's good and rubbed in, and then we'll do the same thing. Take a clean part of the paper towel and fire the lathe up, and then try to get some heat built up on it. It's a friction polish, so we try to, try to push some pressure on it and get that heat going, really seal in the bowl.
All right, guys, there she is. Um, I have to say I, I am a little disappointed in how this one came out. It just, uh, this is the second time I've done a bowl with this wood. And the first one just, to me, it just came out so much better. Um, it was just one of those, I guess, one of those days in the shop. It was just a, a fight from start to finish. I mean, it didn't come out horrible. It's still... It's got that glean. I love how, uh, see how that grain changes and stuff. It, it's, yeah. But, uh, it just, it, anytime you, your next turning is not improved, in my opinion, uh, it's almost a fail. So, uh, it was just, you want to improve every time you can, or I do. I want to improve every every time I put anything on the lathe. I want it to be better than the last thing. Um, and I'm by no means perfect by any means. When it comes to this stuff, I'm still learning. I've only been doing bowls for six or seven months. Um, it's just one of those things. Uh, have a bad have a bad day in the shop every now and then. But we'll be back next week with uh, something else. Don't know quite what yet. Um, what has been a highlight of the week is just the uh, the support that we've seen on the channel. Uh, up to 26 subscribers last time I checked. Um, that's that's freaking amazing. Um, had uh, I think we had one video that, that broke 300 views, which is, uh, hang on, let this plane pass by. slowest plane in the world um <clears throat> but the the support on the channel has been been phenomenal uh really appreciate it um if you're not subscribed uh feel free to do so really appreciate it really helps out the channel um help growing this channel uh it's completely free to to help support the channel there also um if you would hit that like button that is tremendous in helping us get the the videos and the youtube algorithm and helping it reach more people um, sharing the video will also help with uh, reaching more people that would be amazing as well well let me know what you think in the comments um, do you like this bowl do you like the grain uh, how do you think it came out I think uh, like I said it's not my best bowl by any means um, it still came out pretty decent I'm just I, I was hoping for a better result than the last bowl I did uh, out of this wood and that was just not the case so um, I do like the uh, I like the shape of it. I like uh, I like the way this uh, this rim turned out. Um, I, I've tried to do that a couple of times, and I end up it just being really thin bowl. It is kind of thicker though. Um, I would say probably uh, three eighths to a half inch all the way through, especially through the bottom. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna put up a couple of beauty shots at the end uh, after you get done listening to me talk. Again, I uh, really appreciate all the support. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and uh, we will catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can tell me by smashing that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and check out my Etsy store if you'd like. Link's down in the comments. Excuse me. It's down in the description, not the comments. Leave any comments you want. Thanks.